All so right, you've so you've got your order, order of cabinets. We're gonna show you how to put these together. Now what? Open the box. Inside here is one shelf, two shelf, top and bottom, top and bottom. Side, side number two, front frame for your door, door, Back. And last but not least, your box of hardware. Okay, inside of here, you're gonna find your hardware. These are the cabinet door hinges. You're gonna find various screws brackets shelf holders and the screws this is where you have to separate and figure out who's who in the zoo these black ones play a big role and these little tiny ones play a huge role you're gonna try to get this guy out. That's the longest silver and the longest silver. That's gonna actually hold your door. These little guys here with the flat head, those are gonna hold the hinge onto the door. One more. Because you need four of the ones that hold the hinge on the door and you need two of the ones that hold the door onto the cabinet there it is with the flat heads okay the rest of these are the little round heads and those are going to be used to install these brackets these bell brackets all right coming right up all right guys so we have the cabinet now on its side um that's the side panel here we're putting that laying flat and we've got the top and the bottom portion uh, facing in with the white. And then we have the uh, back just kind of mocked up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the other side on as well. And once the other side goes on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the long black screw and I'm gonna screw that long black screw into these pilot holes here. And that's gonna hold these uh, top and bottom portions. Then we'll move along and putting on the brackets. Okay, now we have these screws in. It's not foolproof just yet. So be very careful. And just one quick tip, this guy is directional. It's not a perfect square. So just put the puzzle together, folks. All right, we're back, folks. We're putting on the hinges now. Uh, keep in mind when you're putting on the hinges that you wanna keep everything nice and tight. Okay, so it's good to have a, a person helping you, uh, give you that extra hand so that when you're drilling in these screws, remember these are the screws that have the uh, bubble head um, and they're the shortest out of the, uh, out of the uh, tool kit here that they give us. Um, and we're keeping mindful to keep everything nice and tight and uh, putting on these hinges all around the, the base here and as well along as the top. Okay, I'll show you what we did in a second. All right, we're back guys. Uh, be mindful to please keep everything nice and tight uh, as you're putting these hinges on, or not hinges, L brackets. Um, so we got one there, one there, one there. And uh, this is actually one of the smaller cabinets. Um, I wanna say this is a, this is one of the corners, um, maybe a, a foot long, 12 inches uh, by 36 tall. So we're putting on these guys here, uh, those L brackets. We've already got the screws in. Um, 
Again, when you're moving this guy, please be mindful because if this guy is loose and this guy has a bracket, so this is um, flimsy and you don't wanna risk breaking this guy, okay? So we're gonna put the second bracket here and a third bracket there, and we'll be done with the brackets on the outskirts. Keep, my, keep uh, stay tuned. So I got big tone right there, giving me pressure. So that way when I put my screw, trusty trusty uh, milwaukee here all right folks we're back we got the uh brackets here on all three sides uh the top and the bottom as of right now top and the bottom is going to be something you're going to choose once you're ready because there, it's non-directional we don't know what the top and the bottom is you're going to make your own top or bottom so if for some reason you uh, had something go wrong, a little crack or something, you can make that the top where nobody's gonna be seeing because this, uh, of course, is one of the cabinets that's gonna be hanging on the wall. This is the 12 inch depth. Oh, stay tuned, we're gonna be putting the door on next. And the, uh, what would you call that? The beauty ring that holds the door. Okay, so I have the uh, face plate here that's gonna be holding the door on. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that face down on our work table here, and then we're gonna put the actual uh, cabinet on top of that. All right, guys, this is just one side here. Uh, this is the face board. Uh, we have it flat down on the counter or our workbench here, and we just put two brackets uh screw them right in um keeping mindful to make sure that we are level and that we're straight and that we're tight okay get an extra hand right now because when you're pushing down to make sure everything is tight and level uh so we got those two brackets there at the bottom we got one on each corner and <clears throat> one on the top we also have these two guys back here but this one here will kind of keep everything nice and tight we're going to go ahead and do the opposite side and then we're gonna show you how to put the door on. All right, guys, so I went ahead and flipped it over. We have brackets on uh, all the sides now, on top and bottom, okay? So now our beauty ring is on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one more bracket on the inside down here, uh, and I'll show you why. Uh, right in here, you're gonna see that there is, well, it's kind of difficult to show. But I would put a bracket on the inside here and on the inside there. Flip it in there and just go ahead and put a bracket there and a bracket there. All right, guys. So we have the brackets here. We have the, the two brackets that we just spoke about right there installed. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get our door installed. We're going to put our hinges on the door. We'll be right back. Stay All tuned. All right, guys. So uh, this is our door and these are our hinges. We're going to put the hinges on outwards like that. And we're gonna put our two screws on each hinge. Remember at the very beginning of the video, we had our flathead screws that were all the same size. We're gonna need four of those. Um, I'm gonna find that fourth one here real soon. Here it is. And those are gonna be the ones that are gonna screw these hinges on. We'll be right back guys, we'll show you. <clears throat> all all right guys, so we have the Hinges put on the doors, okay? Now it's time to figure out whether you're gonna open this door left or whether you're gonna open this door right. So there's pilot holes here and there and along with the opposite side. So there's pilot holes on both sides. So you get to choose which way you want the door to open. And this is a good time to get somebody to help you hold this door. And we're gonna take those last two screws, right? and we're gonna screw the door on. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna line up the door hinges onto the pilot holes here, and we're gonna take our Milwaukee, and we're gonna drill right in. These I would recommend to put on uh, loose, and then uh, go ahead and stand it up, and that's when we're gonna tighten it, okay, guys? So now they're, they're loose, you can still go up and down. You see how that moves? We're gonna stand this guy up. And we'll go ahead and tighten down that screw.
closing hinges. Uh, these guys are pretty self-explanatory. What we're going to do is we're going to put them into the holes and that'll create like an L, right? And uh, they're obviously adjustable. You're going to put one in the back, one in the front, and that way you're able to put your shelves right on. So I'll just do one here real quick to show you. And of course, you're going to uh, be able to adjust the shelves and bring them up, bring them down, however you like. Maybe you have uh, certain items that are taller or shorter. Uh, and uh, they give you four per uh, shelf. Uh, and that's all, guys. Uh, one more thing real quick. Uh, on the actual door, you're going to want to put the door stoppers. Uh, and those are the little silicone um, part that comes with... i got to find those and we'll be right back to show you how that goes. Alright guys, we're back. These are the uh, silicone little nipples that I was looking for. We're going to put one on each corner. Okay, and that's what's going to make the door real level. And that way when it closes, going to stay nice and level as you can see here so it's that compensates for the hinge so that way you don't have one side is lower than the other you know that way it's balanced flush thanks guys okay guys so uh something about the shelves uh there's a finish like some sort of veneer here on the one side and that's the only side that will have it out of the uh, four so you definitely want that to be on the outside okay um uh, Here's our finished product. You have the door hinge on, you got the door, you got the beauty ring here. I guess they're calling it the carcass in their sheet. Uh, they do give you a sheet with these. Uh, I had a little difficult time uh, figuring things out. That's why I went ahead and made this video. Uh, I'm not getting paid by these people. I'm just trying to lend a hand for, um, you know, make things easier for, for the next Joe. Uh, so that's it guys. And I've already built uh, a couple different sized ones there and that's why i decided to make this video because once you do one of these um haven't tackled the bottoms yet and that's next but uh these are the the ones that hang um on the wall so the upper the upper kitchen cabinets and uh that's it if you have any questions feel free to comment below uh, make sure to like if you found any value in this, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next one, God bless, have a good day.